Welcome to this session on assembling a master model. So, so far we've created several working models. We have one for each floor as well as the roof. And we also created working models for the office core and the lobby core. Now we're going to create again a new file. And we're going to call this a master model. And what we mean by a master model is that it's essentially going to be an empty file. We're not going to model anything in this model. We're simply going to reference these working models into it and assemble them into our building model. So I'm going to select the new file icon and we're going to call this A underbar master. A because it's architectural and master because it's my master file. And we're only going to put the architectural geometry in this master model. And then there would be similar master models for the structural geometry, the mechanical geometry, and the electrical geometry. So let's go ahead and select Save. So I'm going to go ahead and set my floor selector to the ground floor so I can see my grid. Just fit the views here. And now we're going to start pulling in those different working models. So I'm going to go over to my Explorer to the Links tab. We'll expand our project tree and the design models. And here's all those different design models. So let's just start with a floor lobby. Again, I'm going to drag and drop. We're going to use the recommended attachment method and select OK. So note it, it brought in our exterior that's in that model. But also the core, if you remember, we referenced the core model to that A floor lobby. And so that now gets nested in to this file. Then we'll do the A floor office one. Again, drag and drop, recommended, select OK. And so there's our office floor one with our ceilings and, and our office spaces that we just added. Now I'm going to add office floor two. So there's office floor two. Now note we're, we, we haven't put a floor in yet. And really our floor is going to come from the structural slabs that will be in a separate model. So we're actually seeing, and we didn't put any walls or spaces in this model. So we're, we're kind of seeing through and seeing those ceilings below. But we'll keep adding to these models and, and eventually all of that geometry will be there. And finally, we will add the roof, a floor roof, and we'll drag and drop that select OK, and there's our root. So we now have that building model assembled. As I go into each of these working models and continue to add geometry, I'm probably going to add some more windows or curtain walls. On this exterior skin, I want to add more spaces and walls to the second office floor and so forth. That will, of course, all then update here because it's simply a reference of that working model. Now, in this course, we're only going to create this one master model. And we'll, we'll use it for our drawing creation as well. But in practice, you might actually set up several master models and, and have them for different purposes. So you might have one that you use for creating drawings and another one that you use for doing renderings or clash detection. And because they're just referencing these working models, it's really no more effort to, to maintain several models for the different purposes. So we've got our building model assembled. So in the next session, We'll look at another option, which is to actually add some floors by simply copying the references. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.